Now I know that I'm not the typical Tyler that you would watch for puzzle indie games, but I'm here to tell you that I, I do love a good puzzle game, and I'm gonna try to do some more puzzle games on my channel. Now I know that typically um, I'm, I'm applauded as one of the worst gamers of all time uh, with an incredibly smooth brain, and that can make puzzle gaming a little bit difficult to watch. Uh, so, I'm actually going to be editing uh, the, these puzzle video contents um, so that I look like less of a smooth brain. And then what you can do is I'll have a link to my, my second channel, linked in the description, when I have the full episode on the second channel. Uh, so this is Packerette Down the Bun Burrows, which is a, a game where we have to outsmart some bunnies in a cute pathfinding based puzzle game. Uh, a lot of people have, have really kind of said this is the best puzzle game to come out in recent years. Uh, it apparently starts very simple and then slowly, slowly goes into insanity, similar to Ababa's U. I'm excited to check it out. I've uh, been wanting to play it for a while. Let's play and see what's going on in, in Packeret. I like this, you got save B, N, and Y. Uh, that spells bunny. <laughs> That's pretty cute. That is pretty cute. Okay, um, so this is us. We, we've got a little little shop here. Um, what a good bunner. He is such a good bunner, it's true. Fluffy, fluffy buzz. Moko, I see you. I love you so much. This is uh, me when I see bunnies. So this is pretty accurate so far. Um, it's my laptop. Ophelin never told me how to turn it on. Okay, um, come back, little bun. I will go find this bun, okay? I will go find this bun. So, the bun probably went down into the bun burrows, uh, hence the name of the game. So we have to try to catch this, this bun. The bunnies, they flee. Okay. Buns avoid dead ends, smart buns. Okay, so you're going to run towards that hole. And then that hole, theoretically, you you. I mean, let's let's see what happens. I just grab you. <laughs> okay. I thought that maybe this thing in the wall to the left uh, was something of value, but it is not. I will just I will just leave. Okay. Now now we start to learn a little bit more about the bun behaviors. Given the choice, bun flees straight away from me. Okay. Now if I go up. And I kind of trap you pretty close. I understand. So now we can trap you down here and then I can grab you. That that works out pretty, pretty dang okay. I can go back up if I need to. Press F on an entry to go back up. Interesting. Okay, so this allows me to go back up the, the bun burrow to the, the previous bun burrow. Uh, it's just a fun word to say, <laughs> in all honesty. Okay, so you are going to turn and go up. Dead end straight ahead, so the bun pick their left over their right. They're, they're slowly teaching us. I know it looks simplistic, right? But they are teaching us a lot of rules that I have already uh, more or less completely ignored while, while playing. Silly bun, there has to be a dead end back there, but they couldn't see it. Haha, -ha, okay, interesting. You couldn't know. So if they can't see the dead end, then then that means that they will not they will not uh, stop and go a different direction. So we can look. Um, I, I don't necessarily have my mouse cursor on the screen, but you can see in the bottom left. If we can force them down that path, we know buns ignore obvious dead ends, then pick their path. If they can't flee straight away from me, they go to their left. Okay. So we we can force this bunny to go down. And then theoretically, we can force it. It doesn't know that left is a dead end, so it's gonna go straight. <laughs> Just like this. Okay, yeah, very, very good. Very, very good. And then I can, I can walk you right on out of here. So I understand this is a tutorial. Uh, it's going to get a little trickier as time goes on. Um, let's try to get this bun to go down this way. Because theoretically, now you're going to go left. I want to force you down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Very good. Heck, I might not need to edit this video. I'm so dang good at the game. <laughs> I love this for me. When I'm stuck, I can use R to reset or Z to undo. It's very good to know. Uh, we do, in fact, have, have two buns on this floor. Which is, uh... I mean, it, it could be problematic. 
this bun's a little trapped. Okay, th this bun, <laughs> this bun presents some problems. Let's let's go to this bun instead, uh, because we theoretically have <laughs> we theoretically have a little better. Hey, bunny, 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 can you can you help me out a little bit? Okay, um, let's see. How do I? Let's let's just get you out of there, and then we'll we'll force you. I can't force you to go. You, the dang bun goes back in the dang hole. <laughs> okay. Let, let's back you up um, a, a hefty amount. And let's start again. So we're looking at the level design. I have to force one of the bunnies into that top area. Because they don't know any better up there. So I'm going to try to force you into that area and then if I go here that forces you okay so that's good um then this guy I mean theoretically we do the exact same thing right so if I can force him to get out of here and then we we force him to go down can I force you to the right right now okay beautiful beautiful and then now that you're here I can force you to go up into there as well. Okay, very good. Very good. So, what, what did we learn from this level? I think it's that we, we need to pay attention to where we have the dead ends that are not visible to the bunny. Right? And that's where, where things are going to get interesting. Now, what is up with this? <laughs> so, now we got a bun in a confined space. No bunny around here, but my sniffer never lies. I can smell one. Weird. Okay. Interesting. I mean, there there has to be some way to get this bun. But do I know how? I do not know how. I, this bun is not accessible to me. Let's, let's just leave. Let's just leave. And then, I mean, maybe if I go back up, that bun's still chilling. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's some other way to get there uh, that we'll figure out in the future. So, uh, we gotta have precision on this one. Apparently, um, I do see where the the bun must get trapped, and it's going to be in that bottom left area. So let's let's sneakily get this lad out of here. Um, we just have to basically force him down the line. Uh, we're gonna wrap him around, and then okay, I need you to come back, my guy. Let's let's move you this way. Beautiful. So now this is where we need to get a little bit cautious. Beautiful. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Get get ya. If I move you, I don't want you there. Back me up a sec. I need to go up this way to here. There we go. So then that forces you down, and then from here we can force you down into there. Look at that precision. The accuracy. He's insane. Um, passages. On oh, the bun have little tunnels. Okay, this is good to know. The buns have little tunnels. Okay, that, that changes things. For sure. Because now that bun can go through that little tunnel. So how do I combat said little tunnel? I combat that by going this way. And then we can force it through that little tunnel. And then the goal here is that we're going to actually force it through that tunnel. And then that forces him up to here, which allows me to snag him. And unfortunately, he he had no place to go because he had two dead ends that he could see both of them. It's very sad for that bun. Okay, we're, we're stuck in an intersection. It looks like there's some weird tunnels in the the bottom right. But it's it's a little little wonky to, to tell what's going on here. Okay. If we force you back in, I, okay, you're you're a little you're a little annoying. <laughs> you're a little annoying. I have to force you. I understand where I must force you. I gotta. F I did not want to go down. Ah, I fell and I missed a bun. I can go back up if I want to. This is exactly what needs to be done. Okay. I'm I'm going to z my way back up. I need that bun to run through there, because now I can force you to there. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Send me down. We got a lane change. Yo, these levels are getting, they're getting a little bit more complex. Okay. 
So you're going to run straight ahead and then take a left, which puts you into the the bun tunnel. We'll call it the bunnel for right now. I like you over there. Um, I would like you to now go down. That puts you through that bunnel. And then if I go up, I mean, effectively, we're right back where we started. So that's that's not the intelligent approach. Where is our... Where is our choke point? Frankly, I don't even see a choke point, <laughs> which could be a little problematic. The choke point's not down. So maybe it's, you know, you run through now. And then, and then if I go this way, you're, you're right back through there again. So this, this bun is, is going. We need to get it all the way to the far left. That's, that's what has to happen. So let's, let's send you up now. I'm gonna send you down. And then I need to find, need to find a way to choke it into the bottom left. So in both of these cases, you're, you're getting out of this area. And I want you in this area because that's how I can force you left in here. And then if I go up, that forces you into that bundle, which is not where I want you. This is very, very delicate positioning of this bun that we have to maneuver. Um, if stuck trying to catch a particular bun, I can just go down the hole and press on deeper. I don't know if this is their way of telling me that I that I can't do it or that I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> I feel like I've tried a lot of options on this one, but yet the brain is not finding a good option. Because I, I can't go right, you're going to go up. I can't go down, you're going to go up. As soon as I go here, oh, you ran that way. Okay, that's very good, actually. So now you're going to run to there. I'm going to break line of sight, force you to run left, and now you should run all the way to the wall. Okay, brilliant. You were kind of dumb, but you fell into my hand. <laughs> we take those. We take those. Send me down. Proximity. Okay, there is an elevator. There's a lot of there's a lot of bundles here. Where do we want this bun to end up? Um, we got some some looping bundles above us, which gets interesting. I think we want him. Uh, uh, frankly, I think we want him in the top right. So let's try to force him into that bundle that puts him all the way over here. Okay. Brilliant. I think this is fine for what it's worth. Well, that now puts him right back into the same spot again. So, so what if I go here? That's not good enough to get you in. Okay. And then this turns into the the rat race of the bun. Let's let's rethink. Okay. Um, get him in the middle over here. So when I go here, you're going to go left. If I go up, you're going to go left. Can I get him into a bundle? But a bundle that... Like, how, how do we get him to go into this bundle? That's the question of the hour. Because, like, when I turn to the left and view him... He's going to go straight through the bundle and end up on, on right over here, right? I wish that I could change the direction that I'm looking, but not move. <laughs> Unfortunately, that, that does not appear to be a possible scenario. And no matter what, the bun will make it out of that, that ring without going to the right. So I think we want the bun to go through this. But it's a matter of how we want him to go through it. Like if you get to there, okay. Now that puts you back through, now you're down here. That's great news. Okay, it's fantastic news, but you're going to, at this exit, attempt to, beautiful, okay. And then I can, I can just trap you. I think I maybe messed up here. I mean, it, it has to be this, right? 
because now you're through there. But now I'm on the right side of history? No, I'm not on the right side of history. Okay. So how do I... How do I force you... To go in a different direction? What if I just force the bun to go all the way to the back corner? And we go back to where the bun was before. He's brilliant. Okay, um, I'd like to leave now. I'd like to take the elevator, yes. Okay, um, not too bad. We're, we're taking this back up to the ground floor. Ladies and gentlemen, I've collected some buns. And, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it today. I really am. That went surprisingly okay. Uh, welcome back. The, ele the elevator is just in my house. That's, that's fantastic. Um, you're pointing me in this direction. I will walk in this direction. Oh my, that's, that's the 12 buns that I've collected. Hello, uh, Sugarfina? Opheline! Oh, you're back, Packerette. Say, I'm afraid to ask, but... Yes, I'm the one who captured the buns. That's terrifying. So what do I do with all these hay-eating goblins? Bunnies are for keepsies. Can't promise I'll feed them correctly, but I can keep an eye on them. Did you enjoy the elevator ride? Oh, you're the one who repaired it. Packerette, who else could have repaired it? The bunnies? Okay. This was nice. Um, I I love... She's so peaceful like a bun. I, I love um, my bunny lesbian lovers. This is... It's the ideal scenario. Um, okay, I mean, do we just go back down? Ah, okay, brilliant. So there's more... Th 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 we missed the one bun in here, man. Which, I don't know how to get him. <laughs> maybe... Maybe there's... Uh, maybe there's something something we can do here, but I, I don't think we're, we're collecting this one bun. I don't have a way into your, your bun hole. Ah, I'm not gonna say that uh, ever. <laughs> I think that's one that I'm probably never gonna say ever again. Just kidding. I'll probably say it about a hundred times during the series. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I leave. I, I don't have any way to get into you. So, I, I'm just gonna go. We'll, we'll go back down uh, a different... Bunborough, and uh, we'll see where life takes me. We we did a lot of levels right here, man. I had this. I had this. Uh, I thought I was I was cooking. I, we did a lot of levels. I mean, to be fair, I was cooking a little bit, at least a tiny bit. Um, send me back up. We'll go down a different different level path. We'll do a couple more. I don't know how many levels there are. All I know is that people have said that um, the game gets more and more maniacal uh, over time, which is right up my alley. So I'm going down um, this zero percenter. What does this say? Release all bunnies? No. <laughs> no, I think that that's, that's potentially a bad idea. Send me down the hole. Okay, we're underwater bunny action. I won't be able to catch the bunny here unless I use one of my traps. Press space to lay and pick up traps. Okay, interesting. I'm, I'm already in on this. So I'm going to lay a trap. That's not where I want the trap. I want to lay it right there. And then you will walk directly into the trap and I'll, I'll snag you. This is, this is a great start. I'm very good at video games. Now we need you. I need to force you this way. I think we want to get you into that corner. So let's, let's force you down. Now, at that, you're going to take a, a left. I can now do this. Being able to pick up the trap after you've, uh, you've, you've done it makes this, like, a heck of a lot easier. But these are also the first levels of, uh, of trapping. I don't think that I can force this bun into this gap. But I think I can force it into this gap because it's going to see this dead end and take a left. But I don't know if it sees the trap, if it is going to actively avoid the trap. Is the bun smart enough to do that? The answer is yes. Okay. That's good to know. Because now, I mean, if I put it here, the bun, the bun's going to be smart enough to avoid the trap here too. Because now it's just going to go through there. So I have to put this bun into a position where, where it actively wants to avoid everything but it doesn't know so it's gonna see a dead end it doesn't know the trap is there okay just kidding it knows the trap is there i thought i was cooking with that one if it sees the trap there obviously it's not gonna run into it 
How do I make the trap not visible to the bun? That's that's the true true trick. How about right there? Cause then it'll turn the corner and not know. Ah, uh, you're you're cooked, brother. Okay. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, it's all about uh I mean that level was to teach you that the, the bunny will avoid the trap at all costs. Which is good to know. So where can we limit the sight lines of the bun? So that they don't know that the trap is there. I think the answer is... Well, I mean... What if I put it like... What if I put it here, right? And then that way I, I force you that way. You're smart enough to go down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair argument. What if we don't need the trap to capture you? What if instead, all I have to do is lock you in an area, right? How about, how about here? And then I put this here, and then I bring you down. You're out of a 2x2. Two two. I, I told you, it was all a matter of... I mean, I didn't, I didn't really tell you crap. <laughs> I didn't really tell you crap. That's okay. What do we got? Um, Guidance. Guidance. Okay. We trap you. We, we create our own... No, I'd like to go back up, please. We, we have to create our own 2x2 two two for this bun, okay? Or our own dead end for this bun. In order to, to do that, I have to show the bun that the trap is right here, so that it goes down. Okay, brilliant. Then we're gonna put the trap right there and force you back down. We, we create our own dead ends and then it makes it makes Mr. Bun very unhappy. Okay, so then how do we how do we create our own dead end on this one? It's this area. Okay. And now you're actively going through there. But then you'll just continue in, in circles here. If I go up, you go down. If I go left, you go right. Okay. I understand. <laughs> if I go up, you go down. It's it's never ending. What what if we hide it like over here, and then we we force you in? I mean, we, we can experiment with you on, on both sides doing this, but the reality is that we, we all know... We all know that this bun is not going to just walk into our trap, right? So we have to, we have to use this unique environment to our advantage. Uh, and how do we go about doing that? If we had a block here, we could force him to go up into this, but I don't have a blocker there. And he's always going to see straight ahead. It's like, I need two traps. <laughs> I need two traps to make this work. And I have a feeling that I, I don't... I don't have two traps to, to work with. I'm confused why... Why give me two rooms, right? Like, that's that's the part that I'm, I'm struggling with. Is the two rooms... Are here for a reason. So how do I, how do I get the two rooms to work? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, I understand. I understand. So you needed to, you needed to, you needed to move the bun into here. And then you needed to treat this room as, hey, there's a, there's a dead end we needed to force him into a, a, a tunnel, right? And once you get him to here, he knows he can't go this way because it's a, a dead end. Well, I feel like he would have he would have prioritized left here. Back back me up for for a second. <laughs> I want to understand why this this level happened how it did. 
So he takes he takes the once he gets to here, he takes the left because right and left are the same. So he goes left. Then when he gets to here, he takes his left. He gets to here, he takes his left and he sees the straightaway because he sees a dead end in both directions. And then that forces him into where he's going to continue straight because he sees a dead end in all directions. Is that is that the accurate? Something felt right. I'm going to take my win. Okay, yet another open world. Frick me. Okay. Um, how do we create a dead end for the bun? Well, the problem is that over here, you have a 2x2 two two for him to loop, right? Now, I don't know if this bunny just can't see that far. This is going to be a case of how, how deep can the bunny see. Clearly, he can see pretty far. So where do you create the dead end so that the bunny is screwed? I think you can maybe do it here. Although now this bunny is is never, you're never going to go through there. I need to get you, I mean, the reality is I think, I think we need to back this, this train up, right? Because we, we want the bunny in the middle. Okay, the bunny is not in the middle. We need to get the bunny in the middle, okay? So when you see the, the dead end there, you're going to turn left. Beautiful. Now the bunny's in the middle. Now that the bunny's in the middle, I have to maneuver this bunny to be in a position where it consistently goes in a different direction than, than expected. Okay. That's, that's problematic for, for Mr. Bun. You're going that way. We want to limit your, your escape routes. So if I now go this way and move you, let's move you to, you go all the way up. We need, we need you to stay, we need you to stay in here. But if I go this way, you go down now. Okay. This does force him into that square, which that is a new square for him to, to be stuck in. I wonder if we can force him to go down from there now. Nope. <laughs> no, we cannot. Getting him to go down is is it's just hard. Um And then he goes straight in that way. But he only does that if he doesn't see the trap there. Otherwise, he's just going to turn around and go back up. So if we put it here, but then that, that is equally bad. How about we put it here? And then you're going to run to there, but then you're just going to run back. I have to create a dead end. I, I know I keep saying it, but that's the only approach that we have here. Or you just trap him in the middle. <laughs> or you just trap him in the middle. You know what? Uh, we take those. We take those. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for, for this episode of Packer Red Down the Bun Burrows. Um, if you enjoyed, you want to see some more, leave a like on the video. Happy to play some more. Enjoying these buns quite a bit. If you want to see the full unedited video uh, with all of my stumbling around, you can go view that on Olextra. I'll have a link to my second channel in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, liking the video. Much appreciated. See you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.